ladies and gentlemen the fatty liver okay now this is a condition that uh, some people have been diagnosed with or diagnosed with uh, but uh, the symptoms of a fatty liver are are are, are some, somehow weird so it's hard until you go and have this liver function tests for you to know the appropriate diagnosis so it's hard for us to diag to to make a diagnosis of a fatty liver uh, with bare eyes we need tests for the liver however a pot belly is one symptom of a fatty liver so if you ever find yourself with a pot belly just understand you've started messing up your liver because of what you're eating and it's time to start editing these things okay number two again uh, very thin people think they are healthier there's a difference between being thin and being lean a lean is a built person a person who has a frame a person who has more a muscle mass than fat okay you might think you are because you're thin you're very healthy no you have a you might be having a problem with a fatty liver because now a thin person is also a fat person in a way so what i'm saying is if you're thin it means you need to now start editing what you're eating again start fasting so that you, you your gut or your stomach and intestines start to absorb nutrients in their appropriate ways and adequately so that you start gaining mass and a frame okay and then start working out to build and strengthen the bone and also the muscles so you become lean so we are targeting a lean person we don't want a fat person we don't want a thin person i had to correct that because most people think because they are thin they are healthier than fat people so the aim is being lean now this condition is weird it's basically from the name fatty liver disease you have started accumulating fat in your liver okay so the liver becomes fatty and that's uh, hence the name so most people who have had a diagnosis of a fatty liver this is your video and those who are intending also to prevent a fatty liver occurrence then this is also your video now remember the liver plays very important roles in your system straight from detoxification of drugs metabolism synthesis of vitamins blood clotting and all these functions even cholesterol and bile uh, synthesis so these are the videos that we hope that most of you get them early enough so that you can start preventive more than curative uh, uh, management and then if you learn this it will be hard for you to go for that surgery because you already have prevented the occurrence of this and if you have it already there is no need to panic because these are diseases that can easily be reversed and again the liver rejuvenates two thirds of the liver can rejuvenate to give you a whole new liver and that can take seven days to 14 days so depending on how you edit your diet how you live what you eat and again the type of drugs that you're taking because remember drugs also affect the liver however in this video we're only going to tackle fatty liver so where does this fatty liver come from and how do you reverse that so it's a short video but very educative now a fatty liver is basically a liver that is building up fats and these fats are coming from basically what you're eating now i want to correct something dietary fat which is basically animal fat can never cause your fatty liver and can never cause you uh, weight gain or becoming fat or having that pot belly so do not be lied to that animal fat will get you to this okay so dietary fats are not the reasons why you get a fatty liver the reason why you get that pot belly and that uh, fatty liver is because of consuming excess carbohydrates now all through our videos we've talked about sugar and stuff and carbohydrates so we are not new to these things so I'll again uh, give you a recap anytime you take in fructose which is fruit sugar which is honey sugar which is the sugar that is found in all those processed uh, and carbonated drinks that you take the energy drinks that you take in the gym and those supplements that you take protein supplements that you take in the gym have fructose and this fructose is converted to triglycerides and these triglycerides are basically fat now this fat is either stored in the liver or some of it is stored in fat cells okay that is the beginning of a fatty liver that is number one sugar fructose number two every single carbohydrate that you eat is broken down to glucose okay once you break it down to glucose now this can be used or utilized as energy or this can be converted excess of it can be converted to glycogen and stored in the liver okay and even the muscles again excess glycogen is now converted by the liver to fat and then stored in fat cells and that's why you start accumulating that pot belly that's why you start growing fat that's why you find it hard to lose your weight so these two are very dangerous to your health now 
This is where the problem is because this is, comes from mostly sugar that you take from fruits. That's the reason why we tell you to avoid fruit. So if you have a fatty liver already, or if you want to help your system not to get into a fatty liver, then it's high time you start avoiding those sweet fruits that you take all the time. Okay? Basically, maybe avocado and lemon can do for you. But the others, you start avoiding them because of fructose. Then start avoiding processed carbohydrates and sugars. That will now again help you recover from a fatty disease. Now, where do we source fructose? Fructose is sourced from fruits. Fructose is sourced from honey. Fructose is sourced from carbonated drinks. Those packaged and processed carbonated drinks. Basically soda. Basically energy drinks. Those people who go to the gym and you take energy drinks. You are messing up your liver already. Okay? And then the gym supplements. Again, processed foods and restaurant foods. All these foods. Even a simple ingredient or a simple... Uh, uh, additive like tomato sauce has fructose. You wonder what is sugar doing in a tomato sauce. However, you will bear witness that those french fries without tomato sauce don't taste the same. So people will tell you, once I add in tomato paste, it tastes better. Now that is not the tomato paste that is making it taste better. That is the sugar that is in that tomato sauce, which is fructose, that gives you a reward, a dopamine a reward after you've taken that sugar. So the food industries know that they will put this sugar in every single food that you will eat so that you get you so addicted and you consume these foods in plenty and therefore you end up in having a fatty liver. And guess what they will do? You will get an advert for either surgery or either drugs for fatty liver. So you'll end up back to the system and going for the big pharma. Or the health system, the corrupt health system that will take you through surgeries instead of advising you on dietary modifications. Because remember, even if you go for a surgery to correct these things, you have not corrected what you eat. Okay? You're still consuming seed oils, which are toxic to your liver. They are highly inflammatory. You're still taking alcohol, which is basically causing you a fatty liver and also causing you another uh, uh, inflammatory disease to the liver that is called the, the liver or hepatitis. Okay, you're still consuming those sugar and those fruits because they told you they are healthy. You will still end up here, rather you'll die from these conditions, uh, just hoping that, thinking that I died a healthy life because I was eating fruits, yet you died because of fatty liver. And remember, if you affect the liver, then you'll affect all the synthesis of all these uh, compounds that I've told you in the body, including hormones, and therefore you'll have hormonal imbalances. So basically, a fatty liver has these problems. Number one. You will not absorb vitamins in the appropriate form. So vitamin D, vitamin A. Remember the liver plays a role in activation of vitamin D. So from the skin to the liver to the kidneys, those two organs are very important in activation of vitamin D. We have a video on vitamin D synthesis and activation. So the liver activates vitamin D. So if you have a fatty liver, you will have weak bones. Why? Because you cannot activate vitamin D. Again, vitamin A. So you'll have blindness because vitamin A plays a role in skin function and also uh, your vision. Again, you'll have a problem with vitamin K because vitamin K is the one that is involved in blood clotting. And therefore, if the liver is fatty, your blood clotting will be a problem. So clotting issues will come in. Then the liver plays a role in detoxification of drugs, food, and other substances. Okay? So if you actually have a fatty liver, and then you will not detoxify these foods. You will not excrete them. That will bring a problem because they will start building up and you might end up getting uh, hepatic encephalopathy. Also remember... The liver uses a compound that is called glutathione to detoxify drugs and other substances. Okay, so it takes this glutathione, combines it with these toxic substances, and then eliminates them from the body. That glutathione is found in cabbage juice. So cabbage juice can be a very good detoxifying agent for your liver. However, most of you will prefer those uh, products that are advertised to you and given to you, and they will even affect the liver more. So if you want to detoxify the liver, Fasting and cabbage juice are very important for you. Okay? Good. Then cholesterol synthesis. Remember the liver is the home of cholesterol synthesis. We mentioned about cholesterol and de novo synthesis of cholesterol. This happens in the liver. And liver synthesizes 70 to 80% of cholesterol. So the cholesterol that comes through the diet is about 20%, which is very minimal and cannot cause you uh, problems. Cholesterol, a high amount of it is synthesized in the liver. So cholesterol is very helpful for your health. And this cholesterol is the one that crystallizes to give you gallstones. If at all you have a problem with the pancreas, and if at all you, if at all you have a problem with the, with the liver, you have a fatty liver. So this cholesterol cannot be absorbed, and therefore it crystallizes and gives you those stones uh, that block liver uh, or gallbladder ducts. And therefore that is what we call cholestasis.
So that's a surgical again uh, procedure, which will that's again surgical condition, and you'll waste a lot of money going for these surgeries, and yet you can edit this through appropriate dieting and fasting. Now again, hormones. So hormonal imbalances in women come as a result of the problem in the liver, which is a fatty liver. So that's a problem. Then again, jaundice. Remember the liver? We talked about it breaking down uh, uh, bilirubin to help you recover from jaundice. So it breaks down bilirubin, takes it through urine, gives the urine the color, and also the stool the color. Okay, so if you accumulate this jaundice because the liver cannot break it down or detoxify it, then you'll get into jaundice and have those problems. And again, bile, bile production is a function of the liver. So you can imagine all these are functions of the liver. So if you have a fatty liver, you are now basically altering these functions. So you'll get into all these sorts of problems. So it is better you protect your liver so that the liver protects you in return. Because again, the liver is the one that is involved in your immunity. So protect your liver by all means, okay? So that's a highlight. I've already told you the sources of fructose. Now the source of glucose or other causes of a fatty liver, basically number one on the list has to be alcohol. People who take alcohol, uh, <laughs> you have a problem. It's high time you stop taking alcohol because alcohol, specifically beer, is highly estrogenic and that is a problem. Because once you start giving you estrogen, then you start growing fat, you start accumulating all this fat, then a fatty liver comes in. Then wheat products, which are highly, wheat products and seed oils are highly inflammatory to the liver and your body in general. So it's high time you avoid wheat products and seed oils. Okay? Then again, simple carbohydrates and processed foods and soda. Soda, energy drinks, these are things that we should throw away instantly. Anything that is packaged and advertised to you is a problem to you. So those are just the sources of fructose and glucose and basically the causes of a fatty liver. Now, if already you have a fatty liver, what do you do? Because that is the reason why we have these videos. We want to give you solutions. If you want to avoid a fatty liver, first of all, you have to start fasting. Okay? So fasting helps you cleanse the liver. Also, fasting helps you to rejuvenate the cells in the system and the cells of the liver that have been starting, uh, started uh, being inflamed and dying. So you rejuvenate it. And again, you'll cleanse the liver. So fasting is very important. Number two, healthy diets. If you eat good, if you eat clean foods, you are protecting your liver and the liver will start protecting you in return. So kindly, most of us do the 48 hour fast every after two weeks. Most of us do an OMAD with one meal a day. So start, be it intermittent fasting, two meals a day, or be it prolonged fasting, you will be saving your liver. Okay? So now, if you have the fatty liver already, what you do is basically focus. Focus. Now, the first thing you have to do is fasting. We already mentioned about that. Now, fasting is very important because fasting will help you break down fat. And fasting actually shifts your body mechanisms of energy from breaking down carbohydrates to give you glucose to breaking down fat to give you ketone bodies, which are the best energy sources of your body. Now, that will help you lose weight. Now, that will help you recover from a fatty liver. And now you'll have a rejuvenated liver and all the functions of the liver will ensue. Okay? So fasting is very important uh, for somebody who wants to recover from this condition. Number two is zero sugar and alcohol. Now, if you're taking alcohol, regardless of it's, if it's whiskey or if it's brandy or if it's beer, drop alcohol by all means because alcohol is responsible for a fatty liver and also pancreatitis. Again, another inflammation of the liver that is called uh, uh, hepatitis. So alcohol can give you hepatitis, can give you a fatty liver, and all these are just conditions that will mess up your system totally. So avoid alcohol by all means. Then number three, we have healthy keto. Now we've talked about keto diets in our videos previously. You can take a look. We have a video that talks about what you eat, what you should ditch, and what you should moderate. Take a good look at that video. We also have a video on keto diets. So make sure you watch that video. Now, keto diets are basically high in fat, then protein, and again, limited uh, carbohydrates. Basically, 5% of your plate should be carbohydrates. And these are the same, same foods that will help you limit fat uh, storage and fat breakdown. And, oh, sorry, fat storage. And again, they will start helping you to uh, break down fat that is stored in the liver and you now recover from a fatty liver. So basically, a fatty liver is a condition that is very dangerous and it will yield so many conditions. So if you just focus on this, then you will recover from a fatty liver. You don't need drugs, you don't need surgery. And again, the last one has to be the gym. So if you're already experiencing this, go to the gym, lift heavy. Once you lift heavy, your body starts to break down fat and your liver recovers from... A fatty liver. So basically that is a fatty liver and how you can manage it.